Welcome to Judge Dread Cursed Earth, how to play. Uh, here I'm just going to take you through some of the basic rules of the game, show you how to set up, uh, show you how to uh, use different cards and what happens throughout the game. It's a very simple uh, quick play game for up to three players, uh, can be played in solo though. Uh, there's you know, slight nuances for, for each of the different players and things, uh, the different amounts of players that you have in there. So. Uh, I'm just going to go through how you set it up, how you play it, and uh, let's get on with it. So first of all, you have your three Judge cards. So you've got Judge Dread, Judge Giant, and Judge Anderson. Each of these are given five health. The pink cards here, the pink tokens. Uh, between them, they have four ammunition and three rations. These will disappear at certain points. You also, if you're playing with more than one player, you give one person the head judge. Uh, so they're the ones that make the final decisions. And you have a Dawn and Dusk token. And you can see here it's eat. So when this flips over, you eat one ration. Uh, if you lose rations, you start taking radiation poisoning instead. And if you have more radiation than you do health, then that character is terminated. End of game. The next thing we do is we take the location cards which are these ones here, this is the back of them. Uh, these are all various different kinds of locations throughout the Cursed Earth that the judges are going to be working their way through to try to catch up with the three perps, uh, which are these, this meeple here, this is the, the black one is the judges. So depending on the, uh, on the difficulty of the game you're playing, you can play cadet, street judge or chief judge. You take a certain amount of these location cards, shuffle them, into place, you take the bottom two location cards from your deck, take the max normal card, which also says the end on it, this is the this is what the judges are trying to get towards, and shuffle that together with those three, and they get placed on the bottom of your pile. And then next you reveal the three first three locations. So here we have Muti Country. Atom Gulch and the Slough of St. Louis. Your judges start on the very end one and the perps already have a two location lead on the very end one here. Each of the locations uh, when these when you're on them they have these uh, little boxes which tell you different things so for instance uh, Muti Country when revealed add one ammunition token to the space if the token is on this space, when a team on this space advances, do not advance and take the token instead. So there's a few little bits and pieces as you work your way through. The aim of the game is to get to the max normal card before the, the perps do. The next thing to do then, again dependent on how many players you have, is you deal a certain amount of the encounter cards to each player. And the way the encounters work is you lay out you each play a card, taking in turns in the encounter deck like this until you have six cards revealed and then once those are revealed you'll sort them into number order you can see the card number order here so 12 and 13, 54, 53 so here we have Card 12, Townies, 13, Radstorm, uh, 20 is Gila Brugia attack, 20, uh, 52 sorry, is uh, Lost Hell Trekkers, 53, Pterodactyl and Tollbridge. You do this, you sort them into order, like this in the Dawn section, so when this is faced up as Dawn. In Dusk, they are uh, put in the order that they are actually revealed. So a bit more difficult. Now what you'll also notice on each of these cards is that there are these symbols here. Now these match different things. You've got three colours. You have yellow, which is an event. This triggers automatically. It has, it has to happen as soon as the card is revealed or you work your way towards it. So you work through the actions from left to right. 
You also have choices, these are in red, so this is why you have the two different boxes in the little cartouches. Uh, and you choose one or the other, and then you also have an option which you can take if you want to. The way that uh, the symbols also work, you have these ones here that have a black background on them, and these match up. This is a loss, so this matches up to a skill of one of the judges. So in this case, for instance, the town is, to use this particular choice, you would lose one, uh, one survival point. And the only person, the only judge that we have who has a survival is Judge Dredd. So he would lose one health to do this. Over here we have uh, Diplomacy. Judge Giants is in this case. Uh, he would be able to use this. And once you've done that and lost those particular tokens, you can then do the next piece on the card. So in this case, this one means you would flip over. So you basically ignore this card and move on to the next, making it a bit easier for yourself. Or, alternatively, if you were to do the diplomacy one, you could flip any two cards that are remaining. So you could actually bring a better one forward uh, that would help you out later on in your encounter. You also have here radiation. This is where one character gains radiation of your choice. You would also lose uh, another health off Judge Dread there. And, or alternatively on this one on Radstorm, this means that the perps get to move forward two times. To move forward, they would simply reveal another another card from the uh, from the encounter deck sorry from not the uh, from the location deck and then a second one and then they would be now five cards ahead so that's not a particularly good one if you were very close to the the perps then that might be a bit better so let's just reset that and as you work your way through each of these, they go into the discard pile. And as I say, the yellow is the automatic. So in this case here we have a Psy power. So this is only Judge Anderson. She will then lose her, her health. But it allows you to flip the next card. So we're going to move, move that out of the way. But also you would have the perps move on one so they would be out here instead and that would be that, that one done and then you continue your way through until you're finished once you've got through all of these cards doing each of the location uh, you will flip it from dawn to dusk and as you can see here there is lose a ration so the you would lose one ration and then you start again. The cards are not moved into an order. So again, I'm just taking them from this, this deck just to give you an idea. But these would be dealt out from the hand of each individual player. This time, they're left in the order that they're played. So he'd have 38, 16, 59, 31, 32 and 57. And again, as in the previous round you would then work your way through these hopefully with uh, the judge either uh, surviving or maybe in some cases gaining things as well if a card or an action doesn't have a black background like this one for instance uh, it means that the judges do it so here followed would mean that the judges also move forward as would the perps now let's give you that idea and the aim of the game is, as I mentioned previously, is to be the first person, hopefully before the perps, to reach Max Normal, who has the cure for Block Mania. At the end of Dusk, you will see you not only lose another ration, but 
the perps will also get to move on to their next location getting them closer to max normal. There is a small variation in a in the uh, judge in the in the chief judge version of the game and that is when you arrive with the perps on the same square normally nothing happens but in the chief judge version you would then randomly pull out one of the evil guys and you would have to take them on either with the diplomacy with the psychic powers or with the survival skills and hopefully your judges are either still alive or uh, and are in a uh, ability to be able to take them on so in a nutshell that is how you play Judge Dread the Cursed Earth very simple game uh, good fun probably a nice little starter game for uh, uh, the rest of the game's evening thanks for watching please subscribe